What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be doing Mitsuki from Boruto Sage Mode. So he's, you know, he's got that blue sort of snake chakra coming around him. His eyes are all yellow and stuff. Anyway, if you click this, you know what I'm talking about. So landscape orientation paper, use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast when I move my hand, because it probably will go too fast. Some people say I go too slow. Some people say I go too fast. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so, um, we'll start with his eyes, right? Center point of my page is about here. Just come down over to the right hand side, right? And we'll go with his right eye. So he's frowning quite heavily. So, we'll do the frown line maybe. Yeah, we'll do the frown line first. So we'll go diagonal, like so, right? Like a tick. Sort of that way. And then his tear duct and eye comes down like so. And around here. Then this will come down around the bottom of his eye here. Up into there. So that's generally the eye shape. And then he has like big, big eyes. Big iris lines. around there and then his pupil it's kind of like just a circle sort of lightly kind of sketched in there like that and everything's golden sort of inside you can see his tear duct there <clears throat> so we do his other eye right so the other frown starts like here right and it'll go Curve up this way. Right, like so again. And then his tear duct comes around there. And I feel like you're wondering how far apart the eyes. You want to be able to fit his eye in between here and here, right? So, like, easily fit. There's probably a bit more room even. His eyes are quite wide apart. So, here to here will fit in between. The whole width of his eye fit in between the two tear ducts that's the kind of proportion we're dealing with and then his eye comes around curves around up to there and then tear duct and then his iris again So, his pupil, it's just a line because his eyes are just like glowing sort of yellow, right? So just there. Kind of like that. So, We've got like a, this sort of V right in the middle of his nose, right? So it just comes down here, kind of like a bird's beak or something. Just there in the middle of his eyes. And then this will come down and have, there's all lines and stuff coming out, right? So we might as well do them now. So if it comes out this way. It comes back up. And this will go around his eye. So you could do as much of this cracked sort of stuff, these kind of crack lines as you want. Comes up this way, comes back down. <clears throat> up here, starts to go up like towards his hair even. in the middle here as well and some more cracks and lines going up his head and he's a horn in the middle of his head but we'll we'll finish the face down here first so this sort of frown So 
I'm just adding all these cracks and things. And from the corner of his eye, <coughs> down around his face. So, we haven't seen much of Sage Mode Mitsuki in the anime, unfortunately. <coughs> Maybe he's too powerful and they don't want to, like, make it too easy. Okay, and all that's color like dark, dark black or dark gray. So nose then, just underneath here, we'll just add like a sort of a V, sort of carving around there. And then his mouth real close to the nose, up, down, up, down there. And his mouth is slightly open, so we'll add like a bottom lip line. There. And then bottom lip and chin, sort of area there, and then chin just here. So you notice now proportion wise, this from like the nose to the eyes is way bigger than this. That's because we've got like a real big head tilt. His tilt, his head is like tilted towards us. He's like leaning into the camera sort of thing. So that makes this area way bigger than this area, like twice the size. Yeah. So the nose to the chin goes up here like twice to the top of his eyes. Right, this, this area is twice the size of this. It's just perspective. Things look bigger the closer they are. That's true of faces as well. And then you can do his jaw up the side of his cheek there. <coughs> And then goes up the side. And this kind of becomes his hair at some point, like here somewhere. Do the same up here. Right, that way. This will eventually become his hair. And the ears just are here as well, just at the top of these eyes. So it comes down here. The ear lobes curve around like so. And then on this side, same sort of thing. And then bones and ligaments on the inside. Easiest way to do this is always like just a sort of letter J sort of thing. It's a good way to start it. And then you can add some more sort of details. Now it's different for different animated, of course, but they all do them different. Roughly like that, anyway. <clears throat> so some more sort of cracks coming down his face here. Just finish them. I think there might be like some scratch marks on his face. Okay. So his hair then and that horn. So we do the horn first. So it like starts See here, we'll just bring it up to like a point up here. We'll go down. How far down? Go. There. And then more dark sort of cracks and things. It's kind of, it's black on top, so it's got like these. Dark section up here. I 
like so. Right. Um, then, hair, right? So, his fringe kind of goes off this way, and it's kind of flamed, you know, flame sort of lines, so like it goes off up this way, and kind of up this side as well. Texture lines sort of define it, draw them in like this. It's all sort of blue flame and stuff. Here, so I'm coming up the side that way. We do the same on this side of his head. So And then we go up all flame lines right coming up the side of his head right so like this kind of stuff and there probably should be maybe some more hairlines just here as well so like flame now curving spiking that's what we're going for And so like don't worry if yours aren't exactly in the same position as mine the flame changes you know so I'm not worried too much but just kind of get this sort of curving flame like thing going on and there could be some texture lines and stuff inside as well so like coming down this way Right, so that's pretty much his head. So, in terms of neck and stuff, this is all in dark shadow, right? But we can see, <clears throat> say, his sort of collar that's on him. So, like, curves this way. Like so, and the inside of it comes out from his earlobe here. And then you can go down and around to here. Then we have like a button or something here. The lines in the middle. And then the top comes across. Maybe it goes down a little bit here. And the line going back that way. Same. 
same on this side. So we'll go out, down, and then this comes out. Around into here. Most of in here is just like black shadow. Can't really make it out. I wonder if there's a different image. No, it's just black. Yeah, it's just darkness in there. Okay, so you just kind of color in there, dark black. There might be like like a bit of a line for a fold or something here. You can't actually see any of his neck or anything, so we won't draw it in just because it might mess it up. <clears throat> okay, so shoulder pads, right? So bump out down down here and then we go diagonal this way <clears throat> back around to there and then the top of that shoulder down this way back down to there then around up to here Circles, circles, like that, and then more on this side, so we can see the other shoulder pad here. So this is like under some of that energy, that snake-like uh, energy. So the symbolism is strong in this one. I see, so where does that go? So we'll go down this way. And then the top of it. Into there. Around. Down that way. Just a little bit like this, and then some buttons again. <coughs> And then we can see some more armor inside. So chest armor coming down here. So we've got like a strap first, and then the chest armor comes down here. Then the center line for that, like so. And then his shoulder comes out here. So like if you're wondering how far out you want like the shoulder to be, I normally say a face width. You know, like the width of his head, and normally bring it out close to where you want the shoulder to be. It doesn't have to be exact, but that's the approximate sort of. It's there. Right. <clears throat> so then his sword, right? So we got like the hilt of his sword just here. Goes in behind. his neck like that move another level or layer to it and then the handle will go up this way if you want you can do ruler you know so basically sort of goes out there on the other side So, and 
<clears throat> it's got like a top to it, so it kind of curves across. There. Maybe bring it across the top, across to here. And then there's diamonds all the way down. Okay, this kind of thing. Traditional samurai sword style. Right, so, <coughs> dupe. Okay, so then snake energy, right? That's what we're drawing next. So snake chakra, so it like comes down, wraps around his neck. <coughs> this sort of flamey stuff, and then comes out from beyond his shoulder up. Here and we can see like a, a, a kind of a mouth. So this is like two teeth, two like snake fangs here. <coughs> it goes up around. It can be wobbly sort of lines, you know. They don't have to be connected all the way, right? And then there could be some like chakra flying off every now and then. And an eye with the eye there, and a line like that, and then like the inside of the mouth should go that way, right? And then we'll do another sort of flame. So it like comes out from, so you just draw it in like this. So we go around and we draw it right over his body because it's just glowing see-through <coughs> sort of lines right in this one. So it comes down here. Right, so if you were coloring, you know, you'd color this part of his shoulder slightly bluish. You could even do these lines with blue lines if you wanted. And then some more just over this side coming out from his shoulder. I think that's everything. That's how to draw Mitsuki Sage Mode. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.